As people, we all experience trials and tribulations that make us into the people we are today or the people we would like to be. I firmly believe that the most important experience in my life that shaped me into the person I am was the time I spent in a residential treatment facility. In 2015, I was in such a dark place in my life, struggling with things such as depression and anxiety that I chose to seek refuge in the mental health system. My journey begins at a place called Timberline Knolls in Lamont, Illinois, right outside of the south side of Chicago. When I first arrived, I found it hard to gather motivation to get out of bed in the morning. As time passed, I associated myself with different people and learned the stories of the other girls there. I made friends with even the staff and they helped me out in ways I cannot describe. Each staff knew exactly what to do when girls would have dissociations or panic attacks or flashbacks and were always right there to aid us when we needed help. About a month in, I made a change and I decided that this was going to be the turning point of my experience. I finally found the motivation I needed in my family, my friends, and my well-being, and I made so many beautiful friends in that one place that I never thought I would meet in my life. I found hope. Living with 35 girls, teenage girls especially, was not the ideal, but it changed my life for the better. This experience taught me how to be a beautiful person in mind and spirit by nurturing myself and providing for my friends and my family and the people around me, even strangers, because love goes a long way. That was the moral of this story, is that I learned how to be brave in the face of tragedy, mental illness, and obstacles, but most importantly, I gained a sense of mental freedom that I never thought I would experience. As the wise Bob Marley once said, we must emancipate ourselves from mental slavery. None but ourselves can free our minds.